Um, hey guys, I'm going to be talking to you about the value of the dollar over time and how, um, well, how the dollar has really just gone down and the value of silver has just gone up. So, this is the price of various things. I'm not going to go into complete detail on them, but you can pause this video now and take a look at it for yourself. This goes in about 10 year increments to the end. It goes up until 2011. I couldn't really get data from 2012 yet. It hasn't really come up. Or when I did this, they didn't really have data because it was still in 2012. I just got around to making the video now. So, um, I'm just going to show you how, like, this is Sixty dollars right here. Um, twenty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, and sixty. Um, so I'm going to show you um, how much it can buy over time. I didn't do homes because that's just I don't have that kind of money or laying around. But I'll just show you for the other one, three. Um, for with $60 in 1964 you get about 120 74 38 um, 84 26 and a half 94 21 uh, almost 21 and a half 2004 almost 21 and 2011 18 red you could have bought 285 and 64 214 uh, in 74, 84, 120, 1994, about 76, 2004, about 64, 2011, about 42 and a quarter. Loaves of bread. Gas, um, 1964, you could have bought 200 gallons. And then in 1974, you could have bought yourself about 109.09. And then 84, you could have bought yourself 55.05. Uh, 94, about 54.55. 2004, 37.74. Uh, 2011, 18.46 gallons of gas. Um, so, I'm going to show you um, how much the price of silver and then like how much you could buy with that over over time um so it's the one ounce eagle and then the representation of gold i have this tiny piece of gold it's 14 carat it's the only gold i own <laughs> probably less than a dollar of gold i should put probably about a dollar actually but you know better than nothing better than a dollar of Paper, that's that's for sure. Um, so for silver, 1964, you could buy was that dollar fifty two an ounce. Seventy four is about nineteen four dollars and sixty seven dollars an ounce. Nineteen eighty four went uh, up to eight dollars and fifteen cents an ounce. Nineteen ninety four went up to five dollars and twenty nine cents an ounce. So it kind of went down a little bit, but then it kind of picked back up. 2004 was $6.65 and then 2011 averaged around 35 bucks an ounce. Uh, for gold, um, less roller coaster it's just, just been straight up the whole time. Pretty sure, yeah. Um, so 1964, $35.10 an ounce. 1974, $97.39 an ounce. 1984, $361 an ounce. 1994, $384 an ounce. 2004, $409.72. And 2011, $1,571.52. So if you look at gold, it's just been going straight up. Silver, it went up, kind of went down, but now it's regained, then it really, really regained. <laughs> Big time. Uh, so, that uh, sixty dollars for silver in nineteen sixty four, you could have bought yourself uh, almost almost forty ounces, almost two full tubes of uh, 
these uh, silver eagles, two, four, two tubes of 20. So, and in 1974, you only could have bought yourself 12, almost 13 eagles. That's a big difference from 40 to 13. 1984, you could have bought yourself about 7. 94, you could have bought yourself about 11. Uh, 2004, about 9. And today, about not even 2. Not even 2. Uh, yeah, in 2011. Um, now, so we're on a dip of about 30, between about 29 and 30. You could probably buy yourself, if you exclude premiums, about 2 eagles um, right now. With, uh, with today's dip. And then for gold, I just, I don't really. So I just threw out a number because I don't really have that much money. Um, but say you just had. 20 grand in the bank. Let's see how much you could buy over the years. Um, oh no, two grand. Sorry, my bad. Two grand, not 20 grand. Two grand. Um, so 1964, you got to buy yourself 50, almost 57 ounces. 1974, about 20 and a half ounces. 1984, five and a half ounces. 94, about five and a quarter. 2004, about five ounces and today about one and a quarter ounces so um just kind of goes to show you that if you hold on to this stuff the silver and the tiny piece of gold I have that it will continue to go up if you hold on to the paper you lose but not only because a you have inflation but even if you have it in the bank and there's some you know, paperists, I call them, or inflationists, who say, oh, yeah, you should just put it in the bank or stock market. Yeah, or, you know, you don't lose, you know, inflation, yeah. Okay, except for the, first of all, the market has crashed before, so if the market crashed, like in 2008, you pretty much lose all your money. Um, I know a lot of people did, like the silverfish, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, had weird, or... No, or Epic RV. I don't know. There's a few other people. I can't remember this. I can't remember if they they were definitely hit by like the 2008 crash. Um, correct me if I'm wrong.